After months of independent investigation, the seven-person China Tribunal Panel, which was initiated by the International Coalition to End Transplant Abuse in China, delivered its final findings in June. For over a decade, the People's Republic of China has stood publicly accused of acts of cruelty and wickedness that match the cruelty and wickedness of medieval torturers and executioners. It stated, with certainty, that in China, forced organ harvesting from prisoners of conscience has been practiced for a substantial period of time. The report underscored that there were extraordinarily short waiting times for organs to be available for transplantation, and numerous websites advertised hearts, lungs, and kidneys for sale, suggesting an on-demand industry. The organs of members of marginalized groups detained in Chinese prisons and labor camps are unwillingly organ harvested. Most affected is a spiritual minority, the Falun Gong, who have been persecuted for rebuffing state atheism and adhering to a Buddhist-centric religious philosophy grounded in meditation and compassion. Witness testimonies provided to the tribunal paint the picture of a callous trade often performed when the victims are still alive. On January 27, 2009, four of my family members went to see my father at the labor camp in Chongqing. When we talked with him, his mental and physical health were completely normal. On January 28, about 3.40 p.m. the next day, someone from the Xi Jinping labor camp called saying that my father had died at about 2.40 p.m. Her family members were taken to the Xi Jialiang funeral home by police cars. There were three slots in the freezer of the funeral home. My dad had been placed in the middle slot on the second freezer shelf. My sister touched my father's face and found that his lip was still warm. She yelled, Dad, Dad, my dad is still alive, he's not dead. We immediately pulled my dad's body out and put him on the ground. We wanted to check his body. Everyone touched him. His body was still warm. Several dozen people were there. One of them said, it's no use making the phone call. The officers are here already. They won't come. My brother asked, how could a dead person still be warm after being frozen for more than seven hours? When we started to unbutton his clothes and check his body to see if there was anything wrong, each of us was picked up by four people and forcibly removed from the morgue. On February 8th, they called and told us that my father had been autopsied and then cremated. In his autopsy report, it said that three of his ribs were broken and all of his organs had been removed. My father was still alive and his body was still warm. How could you remove his organs? Without our family's consent, how could you just cremate him? We hired lawyers to sue the perpetrators and petitioned the higher authorities to seek justice for my father. This has been a long, hopeless journey. Another member of Falun Gong and newly arrived in the United States claimed that he was kidnapped multiple times by law enforcement, the most recent time in August 2013, and locked up in the Shenyang Detention Center where he was allegedly beaten into oblivion. He secretly recorded footage at major military hospitals in mainland China over the past couple of years and has turned it over to the courts as evidence for unlawful organ transplants. In the prison and labor camps, every Falun Gong practitioner is forced to get blood tests and a physical uh, check. But when, when you are really ill, you got sick, they don't, they don't take care of you. But when you are healthy, you don't have any uh, issue, they, are, they will force you to do all the blood tests and other physical checks. But when you are really got sick, 
uh, they don't take care of you. This is very suspicious. The first time uh, it was in 2006 or seven when I was in the Beijing, in one uh, labor camp in Beijing, they checked my uh, body thoroughly and they found my liver had some issues. So they just gave up. They forced me to stay in the uh, hospital for about six months. The second time uh, was in 2008 to 2009. I was forced to stay in the hospital in Masanja for about uh, one year. Because my, my liver has some issues, uh, they just gave up. There's a third time. The third time was when I was in the prison, not labor camp. 2016 to 17. During this period, I witnessed uh, a lot of uh, people died. After I was released at the end of 2017, I began to investigate. I just went to different uh, hospitals in different cities to investigate the organ harvest. Survivors routinely point to the frequent physical screenings, ultrasounds, and x-rays as further corroboration that victims are being monitored to determine whose organs are healthy enough for transplantation purposes, as most are pushed to the brink in allegedly torturous interrogation sessions. The China Organ Harvest Research Center published its own incriminating report in July after years of underground research and analysis, deducing that the on-demand killing of prisoners of conscience is driven by the state, run on an industrial scale, and carried out by both military and civilian institutions. Mm -hmm. 